It's one thing to be able to read a Theodore Roosevelt biography about the life and history of the nation's 26th president, but soon you'll be able to read through documents written and received by Roosevelt himself. In the documents themselves, many of the things I'm finding are things I might have read in a biography of Roosevelt, but they're summarized in the biography, and in the documents themselves I'm seeing what he actually wrote. Roosevelt donated many of his records to the Library of Congress in 1916. Ninety-three years later, Sharon Kilzer is sifting through the largest collection of TR documents available. As project manager of Dickinson State's Theodore Roosevelt Center, she's cataloging these documents so that the public can have access to them too. She says it's not uncommon to find a Roosevelt reference to North Dakota and the Badlands. She recently read a letter from Roosevelt to his good friend Cecil Spring Rice, then ambassador to Great Britain. Here's the story in short. Roosevelt is commenting on wealth and its benefits and advantages and it's also, also its limitations. And he goes on to state that from the standpoint of real pleasure, I should selfishly prefer my old time ranch on the Little Missouri to anything in Newport. Kilzer says going through the Library of Congress's TR documents is a unique experience and DSU is just steps away from forming a collaboration with Harvard University to upload and log their collection of TR documents. Harvard houses the second largest TR collection and Kilzer says that will make DSU's collection the largest and most comprehensive one in the upper Midwest. She says this is a chance to make DSU the hub of Theodore Roosevelt studies and to open the door for scholars and the public to have the opportunity to experience Roosevelt right at their fingertips. From Dickinson State, I'm Andrew Keller, NBC North Dakota News.